my turn. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? Uh, I give up. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turian gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? Friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. How you gotta respect the classics? How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask if you're sorry for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterward. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You're, you're shitting me! The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. Hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. I'm sorry about Morden. He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. Glad it was just your elbow. I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. <laughs> to save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not. But he was one of ours. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? That works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. There's enough misery in this universe. It's nice to see something go right for a change. Can't say I've ever really witnessed history in the making like this. Well, except for Sovereign attacking the Citadel, and then there was the Collector base, but this one felt good. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Imagine the carnage if someone like that brother of his, Reeve, took over. That could happen. I know. It's a chance we have to take, but I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have taken that Solarian deal. I could never bring myself to do that, no matter what I was offered. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. Let's hope our luck holds. Fine. Jeez. Remember the problem I mentioned about a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. I'll look for one the next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. I'm gonna trust them. Do not lead me astray. Have you seen our newest crew member? You mean the biggest story in 50,000 years that I can in no way talk about? Say, so, yeah, I've seen him. Just wondering. Commander, got a minute? What do you want to know? You've just implemented a cure for the genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni war and Krogan rebellions? It's easy to remember the worst of Krogan history, but you also need to remember the best. Meaning? The Krogan were heroes once. And they want to be heroes again. We're giving them that chance. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? The 
Krogan are coming to the aid of a council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species can say. I helped them get the genophage cure. Anything more is between the council and the Krogan. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, this is Diana Allers. Good night and stay strong. Okay, I'll cut that together with the rest of the segment and send it to command for approval. Commander. You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And Adrell. There was illness in him. Same. And the Krogan we met, who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished. The weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion, or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what, exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life. Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this, and we'll both be set free. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Only 109, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand-year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. I think of the people I care about. That helps keep me going. I'm glad I'm among them. I hope. Of course you are. I feel better already. Thank you for coming by, Shepard. Why don't we talk later? All right. Commander, the enemy has a strategic advantage in this sector thanks to the fighter squadron facility you're about.
about to attack. We want to seize it, but their air defenses are too strong for a frontal assault. Losses would be too cost for Hitler. How do you want me to handle this? Go in the back, bring down their defenses so we can send in the troops. Good luck, Commander. I have Thank you. contact. There's a small platform above the main landing pad. I can drop you there, but it's got to be now. Let's do it. Oh, what? I thought I took this off. Apparently I didn't. Found the control center. Damn it. This will take a while. Commander, you've got enemies inbound and we can't wait. Someone's got to get those defenses down ASAP. Edie. Edie, front and center. As you command. Be ready, Commander. You're going to get swarmed. Commander, I've been. Watch from cover. Retreat. Save distance. No problem. Cortez, get out of there. Manual defenses to the landing pad, Shepard. And that's where we need to go. <laughs> I could have spoiled there was something got. here, but I can't find it. Maybe I'm just stupid. It's alright though, if you can't find it in the uh, site itself, it's gonna be... Take it's gonna be in the uh, Spectre anyway, requisitions, Negative. I believe. Copy that, Lieutenant. This was a major victory, Commander, a crippling blow to Cerberus operations in this sector. Now all we have to do is maintain control of the facility. Cerberus won't make that easy. And we won't make it easy on them. Thanks to you, we can use their own defenses against them. Tell your team they did good, Commander. You should be proud. Thank you, sir. That's all. Hack it out. It's time to talk to Lenar. Liara. Lenar? Liara. Liara. You had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes. I'll be right up.
Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? You know me well enough to fill in the blanks, Liara. Are you sure? Yeah. I'd like it to be your call. All right. Let's begin with the fact that Earth's most famous officer was born and raised in space. The commander was also a powerful biotic, nearly unstoppable when she charged into a fight. She was a soldier and a leader, one who made peace where she could. And it was a privilege to know her. Careful this doesn't sound like a diary. I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well, I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. Wouldn't it be something to see that if it comes out into the next game? That'd be kind of cool. Not gonna lie, it'd be very, very cool. Commander, Admiral Hackett is available in the war room on VidCon. I don't really want to talk to him right now. 